I brought two bottles with me. They stopped me, and I'm a little nervous about that. As many already know, there are strict policies around alcohol at the World Cup in Qatar. However, Americans and other fans are getting creative about how they bring it into stadiums, and we got exclusive access to one of those fans who was able to keep the party going. We found a boat that we could rent and just like take out for five hours on the water. And so I, I was inquiring about the boat and I was going back and forth asking questions about the boat trip. And, and the guy was just like, I can make a, a run to the candy store for you. And while we know it is hot over there, it turns out sunscreen can serve multiple purposes. It's literally just a purpose-built flask, it you know has all the active ingredient labels on the back it looks just like a tube of sunscreen. And I was like, cool. Seems like I, I should probably have one of those. Make, make getting around with uh, the liquor we've acquired a little easier. But even with alcohol hidden in sunblock, can one still get burned? The, the, the security has been really inconsistent about what goes through and what doesn't go through. They stopped me and I'm a little nervous about that. So I walked back out and then decided to try my luck one more time. So I just walked kind of like, two aisles over, put my stuff in the bin, walk through, grab my stuff from the bin, and, and, and carry it out. Yet, despite the lengths some have gone to in pursuit of their favorite beverages, there is still perspective as to why they are at the World Cup in the first place. I wasn't coming to the World Cup to drink, I was coming here to watch the, the soccer, and you know, I've woken up with a bit of a hangover every day so far, so it, it certainly hasn't been difficult to, uh, to have a good time there. Cheers to that.